Hello and welcome. Welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing, 10th anniversary edition now. I want to just say a big thank you to everyone who helped make this book number one bestseller in multiple categories. So it's, it's really beautiful to see that happen. So thank you all so much for your support. And, you know, this book has helped so many people around the world, and I'm looking for this new new edition to help even more. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you've bought, purchased the book, if it was helpful to you, please leave a good review on Amazon. That would be super helpful. <laughs> thank you. So today, let's talk about the healing power of your own light. We are beings of light. Light, it's who and what we are. By nature, in all of the universe, there is light. Light, there is one light in the universe. And we are all aspects of that one light. When we're living in harmony, with that light. Life is light and easy. It's fun. It's happy. It's joyful. It's healthy. It's abundant. We prosper. We thrive. But that's not how it goes on this planet. Well, at least it's not how it's been on this planet. The society that we live on thrives on suffering. It thrives on war. It thrives on disease. It thrives on us working hard to earn a living. That's not the light. That's the dark. We're not here to be slaves. We're not here to work hard. We're not here to have to make money. We're here to live. But when we're struggling, when we're suffering, when we're struggling to survive, when we're just barely making rent, we live in a state of constant stress. That constant stress is the darkness. It's the stuff that's covering up our light. It's the stuff that's forcing us into unnatural configurations of ourselves. And when we're living in an unnatural configuration of ourselves, our cells reflect that. There is no other option. There's nothing wrong with your cells. There's nothing wrong with your body. Your cells are reflecting the state of being that you are currently expressing. Your light is what's missing. Your light is the answer. Turning your own light back on uncovering, removing all the layers of BS that have been perpetrated on us, all of the thought patterns that we are taught to think. It's time to pay your taxes. Better go for that mammogram. Time for that colonoscopy. These are not natural thoughts to us. These are not things that we would, that we as beings of light would naturally do. These are unnatural configurations. These are thought patterns that drive us in specific directions. They cover up our natural well being. They distort our thinking. They distort our consciousness. When our consciousness is distorted, we live distorted lives. Our consciousness is who and what we are. 
We are non-physical beings. We are pure consciousness. We are simply animating these physical vessels. The physical vessel without our consciousness is nothing. It stops working. As soon as we remove our consciousness from the vessel, the vessel just stops. We call that death. And we think that, oh my gosh, now we cease to exist. No, now we actually exist. We return to the beings of light we are. We return to source light. Our consciousness, as soon as we leave our physical body, our consciousness starts to undistort itself. Leaving the physical body is rebirthing ourselves into our natural state of being, eternal light. <laughs> it's, it's who and what we are. You have been taught to think in terms of disease and sickness and prevention and cures, and there's a pill for that. No, there is no pill for that. That's what your light is for. Turning your own light back on is the cure for all ills, whether it's financial woes, physical woes, relationship woes, whatever your woe is. We're not meant to live in a state of woe is me. No, woe is not you. Light is you. Joy, happiness, peace, ease, well-being. That is you. That is your natural state of being. We, as humanity, have been forced into unnatural states of being. We do not naturally battle each other. We do not naturally fight against nature, against each other, against invisible enemies called diseases and viruses. It's not natural. We're not living in a natural state of being. We are living in very, very distorted, contorted ways of being. But they are not permanent. You can look at them as such, yet they are not. You can look for the next pill to fix you. Or you can make a choice to turn your light back on, to stop thinking all of the bold thoughts <laughs> that you have been taught to think. You can start tuning in and focusing on your own truth. What lights you up? What makes you happy? Your answer lies in the answer to those questions. Who are you? Who would you be if you weren't traumatized by society? <laughs> by the news, by the wars, by the imminent financial collapse. If all of that crap was out of the picture, if you didn't think any of those thoughts, what would your life be like? If you turned off the news and you never noticed all of the stories that they tell, what's your, what's your story? What's the story of you? What story would you like to tell? When you stop focusing on all the stories out there, 
and you start tuning in to your own story. And you start telling your own story, not the story that they tell you to tell. Oh, I got to go to the doctor for my annual checkup to make sure I'm okay because I can't possibly know that on my own. I need somebody else to tell me I'm okay. Oh, time to pay my dues, time to pay my taxes, do my civic duty. That's not your story. Those are not your stories. They're the stories you've been taught to tell. So they're the stories that you tell, and then you live them out. We've all done that. For hundreds of thousands of years, humanity has been living out the stories that we've been told to tell. Are you ready to tell a new story? Are you ready to tell the story of your own well-being? Are you ready to tell the story of your triumph? Are you ready to tell the ultimate story of good over evil, of light defeating the dark, of you triumphing in your life, you living the life of your dreams? Those dreams, they're not fantasies. They're literally your soul begging to be heard. Your dreams are literally the stories you have come here to tell. But the society out there convinces us that we cannot tell those stories. Well, you can't afford that. You can't have that. You're not of the elite. You're just a peon. You're just a regular, ordinary worker. No, none of us are that. We are all grand beings of light. It is our light that is our power, but when our light gets covered up by the bullshit of the world, we stop shining. We stop telling our own stories and we start telling the stories that we're told to tell about how hard life is, about what a struggle it is, about how hard we have to work to survive. We're not here to survive. We're here to thrive. But as long as we keep telling the same stories, we're going to keep getting the same results. As long as we keep watching the news, the news is going to continue to repeat itself over and over and over. They tell us history repeats itself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're taught that it, that it does. We're taught to expect it. And we're taught that the way life is, is the way it is. Well, it's only the way it is, is because we're, we keep living the same story over and over and over again. We keep allowing wars to happen. We keep allowing people to convince us that we have to work hard to earn a living. We have to, we allow people to tell us that, well, there's a pill for that. You have to battle that disease. No, you're only battling your own cells. The only thing you're battling is yourself. The only thing you're battling is your own body. There is no such thing as a cancer cell. It's your cell. Your cells, the cells of your body are yours. There's no disease that infiltrated your body with a bunch of foreign cells. It's not possible. They're telling you a lie. They're telling you a story about how these cells came in. They got passed down through your lineage. They've been just laying dormant, waiting to attack you. 
No, it's not a thing. You can believe it and you can live that story out or you can see through the crap. You can start to see through the things that they're telling us that are not true. And you can start turning your own light back on. You can start opening your awareness to start seeing the truth of you. And when you see the truth of you, you start living as the true you, not as the distorted, dysfunctional, I'm not okay version of you. Are you ready to thrive? Are you ready to be alive in this world? Are you ready to actually live? You're not here to survive. You are here to live. The fact that you are living right now shows that you are a living being. Once you are a living being, you are always a living being. You have been granted existence. You exist. You will always exist. You will not always exist in the same form. You will move on. We are grand beings of light. We can take on any form we desire. We can tell any story we choose to tell. Right now, we're all here choosing to tell the story of Hey, this is that time that I went to earth and beat and was that human. I fell asleep. I let everybody else convince me that I'm not okay, that I had to follow the rules. And then I realized that the rules were there designed for my enslavement. So then I got, I wised up. I enlightened myself. I turned up my awareness. I started to realize that the rules are set there by people who want to control me. And I stopped allowing other people to control me. And I realized that I have the ability to control myself. In fact, I don't need to be controlled at all. I don't need to control anything. Control is the major illusion. There are people that are controlling the narrative on this planet. They've been, the same groups of people have been controlling the narrative for thousands upon thousands of years. It's time to tell a new story. It's time to narrate our own stories. It's time to, allow, to stop allowing other people to control us. And it's time to become masterful humans, masterful beings of light, masterful with our own light. When you become masterful with your own light and you stop allowing the darkness to cover up your light, when you stop allowing the fears, doubts, shames, blames, guilt, worries to control you, when you start realizing that those things are illusions, they're the shadow, they're not the light, we start, start to realize that the shadow is not the light and it doesn't belong to you. The shadow is something that just simply follows you. Wherever you go on a sunny day, there's always your shadow. It's not part of you. It's not yours. It is yours. But it's not part of you. It's not who you are. You are the light. You're a being of light. Your light is the answer. It's the antidote. Your light is more powerful than any pill on the planet. Your light 
when you start to light yourself up, when you start to open your awareness, enlighten yourself, open up and see from broader perspectives, start to think new thoughts, start to become aware of who you are. This is what changes everything. And no, there is not a pill for that. That's what your light is for. And it's up to you to turn it back on. Nobody else can turn your light on for you. Nobody else can clear away the delusional thinking that we've all been taught. It's up to you. You're in command of your thoughts whether you believe that or not, whether you choose to take command of your thoughts or not, that's completely up to you. Whether you choose to take command of your own health, stop listening to all the crap that are, is taught by the medical model and start seeing that that's based on an illusion too, that your body, is functioning perfectly. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with your body. But your body is a direct reflection of your consciousness. It's a direct reflection of how much of your own light you're allowing to shine. Anytime your light is covered up, your light becomes distorted and your cells will distort in direct proportion to where your light has been covered up. That's the only thing that's happening. You're not being attacked by a disease. You're being attacked by your own willingness to think thoughts of fear, doubt, worry, shame, blame, guilt. You have the power to change all of it simply by opening up your consciousness, by opening up your awareness enlightening yourself, allowing your own light to shine. Are you willing? If you're looking for a place to start, you can read my book called The Simplicity of Self-Healing, currently in the 10th anniversary edition. This is a great place to start. It's a way to start unlocking those thought patterns that have been perpetrated on us for so, so, so long. If you're needing personal assistance, I teach a 12 week course called Aligning with Your Radiantly Healthy Self. It is an incredible experience that helps you to shine your light, to open your awareness, to clear away all of those thoughts that you knew weren't yours deep down inside, but we're afraid to stop thinking because it appears that everybody else is thinking the same thoughts. It's time to stop thinking the same thoughts as everybody else and start thinking your own unique thoughts, thoughts of well-being. Are you ready? You can discover more about me at connecting you to you .com. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was inspirational for you to start turning your own light back on. You are a powerful being of light. You're not a victim of anything or anyone. Are you ready to live in triumph? Are you ready to live the life of your dreams? Are you ready to live at full capacity? You have the ability. Do you have the willingness? If you have the willingness, you can make it happen. Okay, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Until next week, create for yourselves a great week. <laughs> Bye for now.